Welcome back, my friends, to the video that never ends. We're so glad you can attend. Come inside, come inside. Hey, keepers, what do you say is the keeper? Hey, um, how y'all doing today? This glorious day. Here we are, southwestern Pennsylvania. 21 degrees off. You know it's cold when you open the door and let your dog out because I ain't going out there. So, excuse the noise, right where the camera is, uh, there's a vent up there. And the furnace is right here, so. Well, today's video is called Your, VO, your VR09 and You. Hey, we're going to do Leslie fun today. And so I'm going to basically tell you how to do a good Leslie. All right. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is... So what you might want to do is you might want to grab a paper and pencil because I'm going to give you some Leslie settings. Okay? And we're going to do that now. So go get your paper and pencil. Or if you're not allowed sharp objects, go get a crayon. Alright? So go. Go. What are you waiting for? Hey, you over there. I said get a paper and pencil. You're going to want this. Alright? What? I already got the settings, man. So I don't need... I don't need this, man. I'm, you know what? I don't need this at all. I'm just kidding. Okay. You guys got your uh, paper and pencil? Because we're going to get some Leslie settings. All right? And uh, so basically, I'm going to play one note and you get to hear it. Play it with the vibrato. What you want to do to tweak out your Leslie is you're going to want to hit your menu button. All right, so hit menu. All right. Now, the first thing that comes up on your menu it says organ. So if you want to, if you want to hit that, hit enter. All right, and it's going to give you some choices. All right, uh, so. Scroll all the way up to the top, so hit the up button until you're all the way at the top. And your first setting says organ, chorus, part. All right, vibrato, okay. organ, vibrato, chorus, part. All right, and then you can change that to anywhere you like it. Mine's set for upper and lower. All right, all right, then if you hit the down button, it's going to say or organ leakage level. All right, I have mine set to four. All right, um, then you hit down again. Now you could go move move the uh, the wheel back and forth. You might not like four. Put it where you like it. Mine is currently at four. Hit the down button again. Organ on key click level. All right, mine's set at 19. Again, you can adjust that. All right. Hit down again. Key click off. Mine is set at 12. You can adjust it. Alright. Alright. Now the next one says organ low gain. Well, I'm playing through a Mackie cabinet. Oh, that's another thing too. Uh, when you're doing this stuff, you should put your keyboard through your rig that you're going to use up. I played through a Mackie mixer with the Mackie cabinet. All right, so my organ low gain is set at minus four because my Mackie cabinet is pretty basic. And what I do on my mixer is, yeah, my my tonal controls on my mixer, they're all flat. Treble, mid-range, and bass, they're all at 12 o'clock. It's right up in the middle. And but so I have mine set at minus four on this. Okay, 
So we're going to go in and set it minus 4 again. You can adjust it to suit your cabinet. Get down again. Organ high gain. Mine is set at 2. All right. You can adjust it. All right. Now that's all there is for that. So you're going to hit exit. Now you're going to take your wheel and you're going to move it to rotary. All right, so now you're on rotary and you're going to click enter. All right. And then, all right, and hit your up button. Make sure you're all the way up at the top. All right, it gives you three type of rotary top, uh, types. There's one, two, and three. Uh, I like three. But you have one, two, and three, so you can set it you know, how you like it. So go through them, see which one you like the best. All right, hit the down button. All right, now this is your rotary, this is your Leslie. And what comes up is your woofer, it says WF, that's your woofer. This is your rise time. Now rise time is the time it takes, as soon as you turn that motor on, this is, it takes the time to, to speed up, all right? So that's what rise times. So when you hit the motor, it starts turning, and it gets faster and faster, all right, until it's at the right speed. Mine is set at 55, all right? Okay, now click the down button. This is your horn. It says TW, tweeter, rise time. This is the rise time from Corel to fast speed. All right, mine is set at 79, okay? And I'm um, going to hit the down button again. Now, the next one is full time, all right? And it's woofer full time. Now, this is when you're at high speed and you switch back to the corral. So the motor is going to slow down until it reaches corral, all right? So we'll go like this, and the time it takes to go back to Corel, that's your fall time. Mine is set at 55, all right? Hit the down button again. Tweeter fall time. This is the fall time it takes your tweeter to go from fast to Corel, all right? Mine is set at 79, okay? Okay, now the next one is Leslie, I mean, uh, Woofer Slow Speed. This is the speed that your woofer, your drum, will corral. All right. It's doing that right now, okay? And that is set at 9, okay? Hit the down button again. This is your tweeter slow speed. This is the speed that your horn will go at, all right? Now, if you look at a Leslie motor, on the top, you'll notice you have three different pulleys, all right? Well, you have one pulley, three different notches, all right? Well, on my 145, I have mine set at the middle, all right? So I kind of copied what my 145 is doing. So the, your tweeter slow speed is six, okay? And now this is the next, hit the down button, and this is your woofer fast speed. All right, now this is where a lot of people bitch, where, oh, my Leslie Valentine, it sounds like shit. Well, it's probably because you're spinning too fast. If you go too fast, it will sound like vibrato, all right? But the proper speed is um, 61. That's what I got mine set at. <laughs> Okay, so woofer fast speed is 61. Hit the down button. Tweeter fast speed, that's your horn. That is set at 76. All right. And that's, that's it. That's all you have for your Leslie controller. Now, 
Um, hit the exit. Okay, a lot of, a lot of you guys bitch. Hey man, I like the keyboard, but the Leslie sucks. All right. Well, it's because you're not adjusting it. You have to adjust it. Like I know people went out and they bought they they have a VR09, all right, or a VR760 or a VR730, and they bitch. Oh, the Leslie and this thing sucks. So they go out and they buy a bar a Boss RT20. The Boss RT20, it's the same exact thing you have built into your keyboard. Just adjust it. If you want to adjust it, then use the numbers I just gave you. Okay? And, um, all right. So, we did the organ. We did, we adjusted our key click and our leakage and all that stuff. And then, the next one is effects. Um, you can set your master, that's whatever you want to set your master knob. Um, mine is set for flanger, so if I want it, you can set it for whatever you want. Your choices are um, twin rotary, small phaser one, small phaser two, phaser, Step phaser, tempo step phaser, chorus, hexachorus, flanger, modulation D, tremolo one, tremolo two, T wah. Let's try that. Ring modulation. Distortion. All right. Now, also at the top, you have distortion, tone, and compressor. All right, so what I'll do is just, I would probably set that distortion if you want it. You have it on your master effects knob. All right, so exit out of that. You got portamento, hit down again. Keyboard with enter. All right, now this is initial touch. set for 10 all right um probably what i would do is maybe bring up the vocal scat and then adjust that maybe i don't know but i might set a 10 all right and uh bass pedal mode uh solo mode i really don't know what that is and uh initial touch bass pedal mode solo mode and that's all you have on that. All right. I uh, hit exit and hit down again. Controller. All right. Say enter. All right. This is where you can assign your damper pedal for. To do your Leslie. All right. Uh, also, you could use your damper pedal. The start your rhythm and stop. Song start stop. Registration shift. Looper. Alright. So, 
That's basically what that does. All right, hear that, Sid? PK setting, that's if you're using base pedals. Media utility, let's hit enter. All right, um, you can use this to save your registrations too. A thumb drive, okay? Also, you use your thumb drive to load in other programs. So that's where you would need that. So hit exit. And then you got rhythm. Say enter. So you can adjust. I don't even use any of that. All right, hit down again. Metrodome. Hit down again. Wireless. I have no idea what that's for. All right. We can research at a later time. MIDI. All right. If you hit down again, then you'd be in MIDI. And, uh,. I'm putting my thumb drive back here. If it's your thumb drive, you get in this slot. Well, I'm not going to take a whole video to put that back in here. Okay. Um, hit down again. System. Say enter. Uh, visual control. I don't know what that does. When, let's, let's see what it. MIDI visual control. Okay. Um, so you can research, find out what that does. Um, okay, hit down again. You can uh, you can adjust your LED contrast, uh, auto off, and alt altelier mode. I don't know what that is. So, um, and so that's where you're. So. We can uh, find out what all that stuff is at a later time, but mainly we're concentrating on adjusting the organ and your Leslie. All right? So, now you guys have it. All right? And uh, if you missed this, again, grab a piece of paper and pencil. I'm going to give you the Leslie and organ settings one more time. All right? So, go get your paper and pencil. Y'all ready? So here we go. Enter. Okay, we're going to menu. Go all the way up to the top. Organ. All right, so menu. Organ. Enter. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay, organ. Oh, shit. Oh, hold on, man. All right, let me do this again. Uh, organ, enter. Okay, um, yeah, hit the up button all the way to the top, all right? Okay, so menu, organ, then hit the up button next to the wheel, all the way up to the top, and this is gonna be the organ. Vibrato course part. I've got mine set for upper and lower. You can do whatever you want. All right. Here we go. Down button. Organ leakage level, four. Organ on click level, 19. Organ key click off, 12. Organ low gain, negative four. Organ high gain, two. Okay, that's it for that setting. Hit exit. All right, and you move your cursor down to rotary. All right, down button. Say enter. All right, hit the up button all the way up. Get your all, all the way up the top. Rotary type, three. Down button. Woofer rise time. 55, tweeter rise time, 79, woofer, woofer fall time, 55, tweeter fall time, 79, bingo, uh, okay, 
Warp your slow speed. Nine. Tweeter's slow speed. Six. Warp her fast speed. Sixty-one. Tweeter fast speed. Seventy-six. Okay, that's it. Hit exit. Okay, now those are all the settings. All right. I mean, you guys could assign whatever effects or whatever you want to do with that. Okay? So I'm just going to hit exit. And, um... Now, there's something really cool. I don't know what... I think I did this in the other video, but... Um... You can assign your D-beam to play sound effects. Alright, so right where your D-beam is at, hit the special effects button. Alright, then you get a menu that comes up. So you got, uh, like, okay, it might be three out of the picture reverb. So if you bump it, you can hear the reverb. So uh, if you do this, wait a minute. Well, I think I'm doing it. Alright. But you can assign that to uh, whatever you want. Um, reverse symbol, uh, uh, laser shot. like that and uh, now here's something really cool I'm going to show you guys um, you could tweak a lot of your sounds like say if you bring up a string program so you hit other and you hit synth okay and then bring up strings all right Below it says uh, master effects. That's set for modulation D. Alright, now if you hit the down button and now uh, using your wheel, you can go through various effects. And what's really cool is you bring up maybe flanger. effects to that. Also, another thing that's really cool, bring your effects back down. Okay, so you got synth, synth strings one. That's what you got. Now, if you go where your draw bars are, you see right below it says level, then it says residence. Then the white one next to the uh, left of it says cut off. And then all the way you got attack, delay, and release. ADSR kind of. Alright. Um, so if you. Uh...
three program, just mess around with your draw bars, you can really do some crazy things. Now, say if you, uh, you can even mess, mess around with your um, vocal scat. Say you bring up vocal scat. Well, you mess around with your knobs. Effects I have it set for T Wall. Even though you got these sounds in there, you can really tweak them out. You can do crazy. And uh, so, I mean, the keyboard is, it's its pretty cool board, man. Uh, there's so many things you can do with it. But it's got a lot of quirks to it. And as you can tell with the, uh, the other video I made, <clears throat> there's no really set constant. Sometimes your upper and lower button will control, control your cursor for sound. Uh, then sometimes your up and down buttons next to the wheel will control, move your cursor where it's at. Sections, if you're in the synth, synth section, you have to use the level control there. If you're in the piano section, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, organ section, blah, blah. All right. So there's a lot. But today you guys know how to adjust your Leslie. All right. And uh, so I hope this all helps you. I ask that God may bless you all. Yes, sure, E.D. Root. And, uh, see, that's my Bill Murray thing. License to kill gophers. Pin those medals upon their chest. These gophers are America's best. And, uh, so by now, if you guys haven't figured it out, I'm not normal. I never have been, man. So, what can I say? I'm out of here. I was going to do a special effect, but it, it didn't do it. So, you know, my life is shattered now.